Los Angeles is a popular tourist destination on the west coast, but it can be expensive. This is Katie from Creative Travel Guide, and today we share the three things to do in LA. Looking for more travel tips? Make sure to hit subscribe and ring that notification bell. So first we have Venice Boardwalk. Lined with palm trees, shops and restaurants, a walk along the Venice Beach Boardwalk is a must. Watch the street performers, look at the street art, take plenty of photos and catch a sunset, all without spending a penny. Then escape the chaos of Venice Beach and head to the Venice Canals, taking a stroll around this beautiful area. Walk across the bridges, admire the beautiful houses and appreciate this charming neighbourhood. A stroll here makes for a calming three things to do in Los Angeles. One of the best things to do in LA is to head up to the Getty Center, which is also completely free. Head into the museum for art and modern design, take a walk around the unique gardens and take in a spectacular view of the city from above. Head here for sunset for gorgeous views. Then we have Getty Villa. The lesser known Getty Villa is also a free attraction that should be explored whilst you're in the city. Displaying around 1,200 artifacts with some dating back to 6,500 BC, this villa is a hidden gem. Just make sure to reserve your free ticket in advance. Then we have Hollywood Boulevard. Many people head to Los Angeles to visit the Walk of Fame and this attraction is another free thing to do in LA. Hollywood Boulevard is home to the iconic Walk of Fame as well as many well-known buildings like the Chinese Theatre and the Dolby Theatre. West of downtown Los Angeles is the popular Santa Monica Pier and visiting the pier itself is free. If you do want to jump on the rides, you can get an unlimited wristband or pay for individual rides. Whilst the aquarium is a paid attraction, you could save money on admission by purchasing the Go City Los Angeles Pass. This also includes over 42 attractions in LA, such as Legoland, Knott's Berry Farm, Warner Brothers Studio Tour and a Hollywood Sign Tour. For great views of the city, head up to Griffith Park. Although the observatory is a paid attraction, the grounds and surrounding park is free to explore so you can appreciate LA from above and see the Hollywood sign. Then we have the California Science Center. This is a free museum in Exposition Park. Here you can find Endeavour, the final rocket to be built in NASA's Space Shuttle program, as well as a World of Life exhibit that looks at life on Earth, a creative world exhibit and more. Then we have Los Angeles City Hall. Built in 1928, the Los Angeles City Hall is an iconic building in itself, but if you are passing this area between 9am to 5pm on a weekday, then you can head inside and take the elevator to the 27th floor observation deck. Here you can get a great view of downtown before taking a stroll through the nearby park. Another three thing to do in and around Los Angeles is to visit the beaches. Of course, beaches are completely free and luckily for those traveling on a budget, LA County has quite a few to choose from. Some beaches are near the sightseeing bus stops, whilst others like the Will Rogers State Beach or Malibu Beach have free or affordable parking within a 15 minute walk from the beach itself. Then we have the markets. The Grand Central Market and the original Farmer's Market are both free attractions to visit in Los Angeles. However, you will probably want to buy some delicious food here, so expect to spend at least $10 tasting some of the best flavors and dishes available. LA isn't known for being a walkable destination, but there are areas and neighborhoods that can be explored on foot. The GPS My City app offers free trials, so download the app whilst you're in the city and try out one of their self-guided itineraries, which include walks around downtown LA, Hollywood Boulevard, Chinatown and Little Tokyo. We will leave the link in the description below. Then we have the Hollywood Bowl. The iconic venue can be found inside a county park, which is free to enter as long as there are no events happening at the time. Hike around the county park or walk around the theater space. 
Then we have the Broad Museum. This contemporary art museum is a free museum in the city and is a unique place to visit. With artworks from Andy Warhol and Carver Walker, there is plenty to see here. Also, make sure to visit the popular exhibit, the Infinity Mirror Room, named The Sounds of Missions of Light Years Away. And finally, you should visit the Old LA Zoo. Found in the middle of Griffith Park is the Old LA Zoo. It is a great spot for taking a stroll, hiking and photo shoots. It has even been used in movies. This is an abandoned zoo, so don't expect any animals here. But for budding photographers, this is a great hidden gem to explore. Watch this video to find out the things to know before you go to Los Angeles. Then, to learn about the 10 best things to do in Los Angeles, watch this video. We hope you have a fantastic time and stay creative.